So we have all these Baraguanathia out. This fossil doesn't look as impressive. Uh, yeah, this one is actually uh, an example of Cooksonia, and uh, it's um, the first uh, confirmed Cooksonia uh, from Australia. There is reports that uh, Cooksonia have been found in New South Wales, but they're unverified and they're actually quite poorly preserved specimens. But what's interesting about this specimen is that it's a, it was actually found on uh, Halls Flat Road in Alexander. And that's actually where one of the locations that um, Isabel Cookson worked on in 1935. So did she find this specimen? No, unfortunately she didn't find it. So it was, um, but it is actually at the same location where she worked. Um, I'd investigated the location because of Isabel Cookson looking at it. Right. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite a lovely specimen. But unfortunately there's not too many Cooksonia preserved on this side of that. The world is only other than the fragmentary specimens in New South Wales, which may be Cooksonia. This is all we have. So this is the first example of Cooksonia found in Australia. Yeah. And you found it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. And it's at a site Isabel Cookson actually had worked at in the past. Yeah. Yeah. So Cooksonia was named for Isabel Cookson by uh, Professor Lang in 1937. It is essentially the archetypal first land plant. So when you think of early land plants, you think really of Cooksonia because it just has this usually simple axes, very simple uh, branching, and then just a termination, which looks like a trumpet. So some of the earliest land plants that we know of are Cooksonia, and they're from uh, the Wenlock, which basically is mid Solarian. So these are really, really old. But this one is actually from uh, the Norton Gully sandstone of uh, Alexander, so it shows that they actually survived for a significant period of time, and uh, which is the same uh, world over. They actually did last for a good period of time.